Okay, so now we can create the meta zones. Uh, as I said before, I'll have one for each surface type and they will have an input for an integer value that determines the movement type. Uh, I prepared some wave assets already here for all surface types and I grouped each of them into five categories for jump, land, sprint, step, and walk and run. So these are five different values that can then be passed into the meta zones. Walk, run, and also crouching will actually use the same group of assets, but we will use pitch and volume multipliers in our animation notify to adjust them according to the movement. Okay, so then we can start. Uh, I will create a new folder here, call this meta sounds. And then I will create a new meta sound source, call this ms underscore footsteps. And open this up. So I will start by creating a wave player. And from our wave asset, we will get a random wave asset. Uh, and from here, we can create a graph input that actually creates our array that we can then populate with our wave assets. Um, and what I also want to do is modulate our pitch shift every time the sound plays. So I will get a random float. I like to use like a range from 0.9 to 1.1 1 .1 maybe. And then uh, this pitch shift input here actually takes a uh, semitone. So we will have to convert this output from frequency multiplier to semitone. And then this should be our basic setup. Now this only works for one asset group, of course, for one array, but we actually need five of these. So I will just copy this five times. Okay, and now I will connect the outputs into a mixer with five inputs. And then we will need a trigger any, any node also with five inputs so that uh, no matter which uh, which wave player finished playing the meta sound knows that it should stop playback. Okay. Um, now these are all still the same array, uh, but we actually need different ones for every, for every player here. So I will create these real quick, this one, and I will also have to rename them. So these will be the steps. These will be walk, run, create another one. This one will be sprint. This one will then be jump. And the last one will be land. Uh, I will also set the sort order of these so that I don't get confused uh, later on. One will be one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, so for our steps, walk, run, and sprint uh, assets, I think I have 10 or 12 wave assets each. So I will set my number of repeats to maybe eight. 
so that the last eight assets won't be repeated. And for these, I only have three each, so one should be fine. Okay, so now we need to route our trigger input to the right uh, wave player here. So to do that, we actually have to create our own little utility meta sound. So I will go here and go to sounds, meta sounds, and create this darker green meta sound asset here. I will call this meta sound utility and then a switch on int maybe five so that I know this takes five different values. And what we're going to do here is basically uh, build our own switch node, which unfortunately does not exist in the MetaSounds yet. Uh, so we will need two inputs. First one I will call just trigger, oh, trigger in. This will be of type trigger. So what other zero is okay. And then this will be our integer input, sort out of one, so that it's, it appears uh, under our trigger input. I will call this index. Okay, and then we need five outputs. These will all be triggers. And I will also give them a sort order. Oh yeah, and I will name these trigger step. This one will be trigger walk, oh, trigger step, trigger walk run. Trigger sprint, trigger jump, and trigger land. Now we will have to route our incoming index here to those outputs. So what I'm going to do is um, use this trigger compare. This compares input A and B with each other. And if it's equal to one another, this true trigger here will be active. If A is not equal to zero, this false trigger will be active. And if that's the case, I will Again, use trigger compare. Now I will compare our input index with one. If this is true, then trigger this output. If this is false, a little more space here. If this is false, we will compare again. This time with two. If this is true, trigger sprint. If not, Compare again with three. And lastly, compare with four. If it's bigger than this, then uh, this one will be triggered and then just nothing happens. Okay, that's it. So now we can use this in our meta sound in here. So if I go to audio, meta sounds, now I can pull this in. And we actually need another input here, of course, which will also be called index, will be a type in 32.
connect these and now I can hook these up to our array players here. Okay. Now to test this out, uh, I should first populate my arrays here. So I'm going to do that real fast. Go to concrete, step, and throw these in there. Okay, now we should be able to hear this array right here. These are our steps. And if I change our index here to, for example, three, we now hear our jumping up sounds. Four are our land sounds. One are our walk run. So this works perfectly. Now, of course, this only uses the concrete sounds right now. So we can actually use this meta sound here as a template. I will quickly rename this to template, template. And from this one, we can now create meta sound source presets for our different materials here. Okay, so if I open this up, this is actually our uh, concrete meta sound now. Uh, so these are already filled with the correct um, asset groups. If I go into our grass meta sound here, I can now um, override the array inputs. And delete everything that's in here and then replace these with the correct material sounds. So I will do this real quick. Okay, so now I have populated the arrays with the correct material sounds. Uh, we can test this out again in our metal meta sound here. If I play this, we can hear the, this should be the uh, walk run sounds here because earlier we set our index uh, for testing to one. So we can actually again overwrite this here for testing and put in a three maybe. So these are again our jumping sounds, but from metal. So this definitely works. Okay, that's it with the meta sounds. Next part, we will create our custom animation notify.